Hey everybody, what's going on? Chevy Do here, and today I want to bring you into our masonry workshop and talk about the electric masonry bench and whether this is worth you crafting or not. So first, like we always do, let's talk about costs. So as we go into the tech tree here, obviously it's a tier four. And as we've been saying, if you've watching our, been watching our other videos on these tier fours, if you haven't seen them yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and go back and look at them. They're great. But the cost requires composites. So like I've said, <clears throat> lose my breath already. I'm getting too excited here. So like I said before, anything that requires composites is going to cost you a base of 152 electronics. So, where, oh, sorry, 162, not 152, 162 electronics. Now, Shabby, where do we get that number? Let's start from the beginning like we always do. So, we've got the fabricator, which is 30 electronics and 30 concrete, okay? That's the first step. Second step, we need power for everything else. So, there's another 12 electronics right there, which brings us to 42. Then we need a tool, which we won't really count the materials for, but it's a couple. Um, now we're going to talk about the material processor, which is what we need to make our composite paste, which is another 60, which brings us to 102. And finally, to cook that paste, we need to have the electric furnace, which is another 60, which brings us to 162 composites, plus another 80 concrete, which will bring us to 110 concrete. So that's a lot of silica as well. So that's the base required to make anything that requires composites. That's everything you need to make composites. I obviously need some tier three stuff, but we're only gonna talk about the tier four requirements here. So now with that as our base, then we need an additional 20 electronics, a hundred concrete, 60 steel, and that's it for like the for like the high end stuff. Like 10 composites is not hard once you can actually do it. You can use platinum more now with the new alternative recipe, so it's not too shabby. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. So there's our base cost. We've got 182 electronics to get us going. Is it worth 182 electronics to upgrade from our regular masonry bench to our electric? So let's talk costs here. So I'm going to grab a little bit of concrete out of here and some sap. Okay, so let's go and start. Uh, let me grab a little bit of silica as well. Give me uh, half of that right there. Okay. And some rocks, maybe. I don't know if I have rocks over there. So let's first talk about concrete, because you can mix concrete in here. And that's one of the biggest things towards the end of the game, right? Uh, so if you need this for building your concrete buildings, let's go to our concrete or our cement mixer here. And let's make one. Five seconds. So five seconds there for one of them. And over here, two seconds. So it's about two and a half times... Or, the uh the speed that we'll say two times because maybe it's two and a half seconds they don't put fractions of seconds here so that's the base for that so we're roughly at two times faster now let's come over here and make you know i want to base this off of concrete too but let's also make a stone let's make a stone floor here so let's craft one of those 10 seconds for a stone floor and over here a stone floor is five seconds so again two times faster Go back to our cement mixer here. Let's play with some cement here. What am I missing? Oh, I need some steel stuff. By the power of editing. Steel. So let's make a concrete floor. Craft that. 15 seconds. Come over here. Concrete floor. Craft that. 7 seconds. So it's twice as fast. So we can surmise that using this machine. Now, obviously, it puts both machines into one. But you're, you need to have both of these anyways to really get here. So this is twice as fast as just using a cement mixer and a masonry bench. Now, is that worth it? Um, no. No, it's not. There are no special recipes. There's no tier four recipes that unlock in tier four. So you're literally just getting a speed boost out of this. There's no um, optimizations because you're using better equipment to lower costs. So the cost stays the same. The only thing you get as a benefit is your time. And there's no way that there, there really aren't any missions out there that you're out there in the mission for so long that you get 182 electronics <clears throat> and build one of these just to make concrete or just to make a concrete building or to make a stone building. The only time you're ever going to really use something like this is when you're an outpost or if you play like spirit walk and you're doing a nice 30-day mission 
and you're just goofing around with some friends. You're building. You're just surviving for 30 days. That's your goal. So you're just in the immersion. So at that point, yeah, you'll you'll build this. You know, you'll get that immersion. You'll build a night. You'll build all the tier four stuff, and it's just a good time that way. Uh, but as for functionality with the actual core mechanics of the game, which is surviving on Icarus in a mission-based standard time frame, like, you know, we've got time restraints and everything. So, uh, and with no specific tier four materials, um, all this is is a placeholder. I've said that about a few of the other machines, but this does nothing for me. It does nothing for the game except for speed things up, and it's an abysmal rate at that. It's only twice as fast. It doesn't lower costs. So all this really is is a nice decoration. Um, it is a very expensive placeholder that you can put in the house that will maybe down the road when more content comes out for this game, um, then go into these machines, and then we have to use these machines for other Tier 4 crafting or po potentially to get us to Tier 5, right, when something like that comes out. But as it stands right now, there's, there's no... Um, I can't justify to anyone to build this unless you're just having fun and just surviving for a long period of time. Then, yeah, absolutely. But if not, nope. Absolutely not. Do not make this. Um, there's no reason for you to spend all these materials to make one of these when you can just continue to keep using those two materials there. Those two blocks for everything you really need. But alright guys, yeah, if you found this useful, hit that like button down below. We still have one more machine to talk about, and that's this bad boy down here, the Metal Oxide Dissolver. So if you want to see that video, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell so you can get notified when that does come out so you can get that sweet, shabby content right when it comes out of the oven hot. And as usual, make sure you leave me a comment down below. What, tell me what you think of the Electric Masonry Bench and if you agree or disagree with what I've said. But all right, guys, that's going to wrap it up here. As usual, I hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.